Ranger Week on the Paper Crafters Library blog, and all week we've been focusing on Tim Holt's Distress Stains. Every day this week we've shared a different technique using the stains, and each day we've been giving away a set of 12 Distress Stains generously donated by Ranger. We'll share details on how you can enter to win at the end of this video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a variation on the blended Distress Stain background technique, which was used to create the background of the card you see here. So for this technique, I'm going to be working on a piece of manila cardstock. This came as eight and a half by 11 sheets from Ranger, and I've cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter. I'm also going to be using Wild Honey and Barn Door Distress Stains, some of the Sunflower Sparkle Perfect Pearls Mists, and I've got a big bottle filled with water. This is an empty hair product bottle that I rinsed and then filled with water because I liked how it spritzed a nice fine mist. So the first step to this technique is to spritz the actual manila piece with water and to make sure that it's well saturated. The next step is to take the distress stains. Now with the traditional blended distress technique you rub your distress stains across the surface. In this case I'm giving it more of a splat like application. Simply I'm squeezing the bottle and I'm splatting it down against the surface of my manila cardstock as you can see here. So that was the wild honey, and now I'm going to take the barn door, and I'm filling it in, in between. With the darker color, I'm trying not to be too heavy handed because I don't want the entire background to take on too much of the red. Then any empty spots just filling in with the wild honey again. So now I'm just going to take my mister again, and I'm going to spritz this liberally to help blend the colors some more. And then to get your entire surface to cover, you can just take your cardstock or your manila and just start tilting it. And any places where there's blank, there's a little bit of white at the edge there, I'm just going to take and I'm going to drag in there to pick up some of that color. So now at this point, you can leave it to air dry, or if you have one, you can take a heat tool to speed up the drying process. So here I'm going to be using my Ranger heated craft tool. Now initially, with the moisture on the manila cardstock, you will notice that it may curl quite significantly. But after heating it, it'll flatten out. And if you still have some warping to your cardstock, you can always take a regular iron or craft iron and iron it flat. Now you can either leave it as is, as you see it has a really nice marbled, kind of blended effect, but I'm going to take it one step further by adding some of my Perfect Pearls Mist. The color that I'm using is Sunflower Sparkle. Now Perfect Pearls is another Ranger product. There's no coloring to the liquid itself, it's the mica that gives it its color. So although the liquid looks a little bit yellow, that's simply because of the mica floating around. Now there's a little mixing ball in the bottom, so before you use your Perfect Pearls Mist, you do have to give it a really good shake. So once you've given your Perfect Pearls Mist a good shake, you simply hold it several inches, probably four to six inches above your surface, and then you simply spritz. And how much you spritz really depends on how much of that gold you want on the surface of your project. And here, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, you can see those droplets where I now have that beautiful gold shimmer. Now the further back you hold it, the finer your mist is, I was holding it a little bit closer and I got some big droplets. I actually really like that. Um, the other thing you can do is take it and as you spritz just pass it across and you'll end up with a finer mist. So I'm now going to take my heat tool again just to dry this. So with my Perfect Pearls Mist now dry, my background is finished and it can now be incorporated into a project of your choice. And once again, here is an example of what this technique looks like incorporated into a project. I've also used a ghosted stamping technique on this card, which I show you in the free Picket Fence Distress Stain video on the Paper Crafters Library blog. There's a complete video tutorial on how to create this card from start to finish available at Paper Crafters Library for our members. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, each day this week, Monday to Friday during the week of April 16th to 20th, 2012, we're giving away the set of 12 distress stains you see pictured here, which were generously provided by Ranger. To enter to win, all you have to do is visit the Paper Crafters Library blog and leave a comment in the post you see here. 
If you're watching this video from somewhere other than our blog, you'll find a direct link to this post in the video description section. While you're there, we invite you to check out the benefits of becoming a Paper Crafters Library member by clicking on the Benefits of Membership link at the top of our blog. All five winners will be announced on our blog on Friday, April 20th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you on the blog!